Okay, what y'all doing? Y'all getting y'all cheeks flat. What's up? This is Valentine's Day. <laughs> Get around the tip. Say that. <laughs> They all in my face when I know what I got. Love what you see. You wanna deal on my shit so hot. Yeah, I bet you catch a feel. I don't know who you are if I'm keeping it real. What's good, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your B and A. And happy Valentine's Day. Oh, God. Okay, are you my Valentine? Okay, we can be each other Valentine's if you don't have a Valentine's Day, baby. Okay, we here with each other. We here with one another. Okay, so anyways, back to my intro. Um, it's your terrible name if you don't know. Now you know, and now we're best friends. So make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Okay, comment down below what else you want to see me do. You know what I'm saying? Today, honey, today we are doing a cute, seductive, grown and sexy version of a valentine's day look okay so i'm not gonna give you the regular regular schmegula red and pink with hearts everywhere that shit is dead okay i did a look like that last year i'm over it baby i'm 23 now grown and sexy you know what i'm saying like it's time to give what it was supposed to give okay so also don't come for me and how my hair is like this i need my curls in the front to stay pins baby okay because we gotta look good at the end of the video and i don't want to like re curl my hair girl this install was a situation y'all know i know y'all ain't seen me in a wig in a minute but anyways let me stop talking let's get into the video so i will be doing brows and then eyes because we're doing a dark eye today and then i'm gonna do my face so we're switching it up a little bit keep it entertained baby okay so anyways this is a tutorial so i will be talking about the products right now i'm using my fave okay my all-time favorite this is the only brow product i use to fill in my brows and it's nyx micro pencil and express so so yeah let me tell you guys why this install took so long okay this will be like a chit chat get ready with me because i already did my hair i'm not showing you an outfit for real you know, so we won't have a chit chat. Okay, I hope you like to hear me talk, baby, because I'm about to wrap to you. So, you guys, I think I started my hair around five something. It's nine o'clock. That's terrible. I was getting interrupted and stuff. So, you know, I had. I just broke. I just broke a little bit of my pencil off. Oh, hell no. Okay, so anyway. First off, I didn't plan on filming today. Backstory, me and my mama, we be sharing products like hair spray and stuff like that, right? If she got it, bet I'm going to use it. If I got it, bet she's going to use it if she don't, right? Right. Regular, regular mom and daughter shit, right? So this lady wants to go on a little trippy trip and get away for the weekend. And she took her dad on got to be spray. And coincidentally... I didn't have any. I was very annoyed at myself too because I went to the beauty supply store to get a eyeliner yesterday and I totally forgot that like I didn't have certain things like that. So girl, when she went on her trip, she took her products and also it snowed like crazy today because you probably like, okay, just go to the store and get you some. No, baby, it's snow outside and who cleaned the car off? Because I'm damn sure not walking. So, yeah, no, that was a dub. So, I was like, we're going to have to figure it out. So, today was the first day I did the got to be glued with the black bottle. And then, over top of it, I used Ghost Bond. Now, I wasn't scared because I have seen a lot of people doing this recently. And I also told myself that I was going to try it. But I was going to try to glue. Who was texting me? I was going to try to glue with the spray not the glue with the glued you know i was i was a little nervous child then what else happened i couldn't find my right tweezers and i needed to pluck in different areas i ain't hear my favorite tweezers girl it was a lot going on and i'm sorry i needed the hair for this look because it just wasn't going to give without it you know so yeah those are the struggles that i went through today also if you're like girl what are you doing right now i'm taking some of the got to be glued again putting it on my eyebrows i do this as my brow gel now that that's done i'm taking this same morphe brush and i'm going in with the kiss 
Pro Touch Full Coverage Concealer in Toffee to call out my brows. This is really close to my skin tone, so I love using this to call out my brows. It's like a little bit lighter, so it does the girl well, okay? Now, I'm gonna be quiet for this part because I got I gotta focus. Focus on me. Y'all also, you know, I'm gonna like moving my hair back and forth and whatnot to get in the groove. So y'all look at this. You see my lace, girl, this for y'all because <laughs> I want to let you guys know that like I purposely did not glue the very sides of my wig down. And I, before you see and be like, ooh, her shit lifting, you know what I'm saying? No. I did it on purpose because you guys, I have too much hair on my face. Like my um sideburns, they always get stuck to the glue. And that shit, let me tell person. That stuff is painful when it gets, you know what I'm saying? When it gets stuck, I don't probably want to be going through that when I'm gonna dig it. So I was like, look. So y'all, I'm kind of nervous because I've never done the type of look that I'm about to do. Girl, I don't even know what palette to use. I don't even know where to begin. I don't know if y'all saw the dust come off this bitch. This palette. I haven't done eyeshadow in so long. That's why it looks like this. And I kind of have like neglected all of my makeup palettes because I don't be doing eyeshadow that much. But I got to get out of my comfort zone for today because I have time to say, okay. So I will be going in with the Morphe Boss Mood palette. Shout out to my Helly because she got this for me like so long ago and i'm basically going to go in with some browns first i'm gonna top it with some a little bit of black to be honest and then i'm gonna go over with some purple and then we're gonna play with some highlight i mean that's some highlight we're gonna play with some eyeliner okay first i'm gonna be taking this bh cosmetics v5 brush i'm not doing no prime or nothing because I'm, I'm doing dark colors so it's not like i'm doing a for you where you have to like prime i'm just making sure this is the kind of brush i want to use yep the nice and fluffy I'm gonna go in with some browns over my lid and my crease. Look at me sounding like I know what I'm doing, girl, but. And I'm going to pat it on first and then I'm going to blend it out. Tell me in the comments down below what y'all doing for Valentine's Day, okay? Um, I can't even tell y'all my plans because I don't even know yet. Because right now it's January 31st. Like, when I told y'all I was on my, I was gonna be on my SHIT this year with posting baby i'm not playing no games like usually i would film a valentine's day look the day before and then struggle to edit it on time and get it out i don't know if i got time to be struggling child so i made sure i did everything for y'all really really early so i wouldn't even have to worry about it and i'm so freaking proud of myself but yeah tell me what y'all doing down below be honest keep it a buck with me we're here with each other. Okay, what y'all doing? Y'all getting y'all cheeks flat. What's up? You staying in the hotel? What's up? Okay, this needs to get... Okay. Uh-uh. <laughs> Hold on. Because, baby, I'm going to take this brush right here. I don't think it has any products in it. It's clean. Where to God. And I'm going to use that up here because I'm putting too much eyeshadow up here. I don't want that much. So I'm going to use this to try to blend it out without adding more product. Because, girl, I don't need to look like no raccoon now. Okay, y'all. So let's talk about what type of things you can get to your significant other for Valentine's Day. So my guys out there. Y'all know we love the little things. You know what I'm saying? Like, get her some flowers. Get her some chocolate. But spice it up. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you get her a little gift like that, you know, put something sentimental with it. Like, write her a note. Get her a card. Write something in it. You know, if, you, if your girl's anything like me, we love the little things. It just really just, oh, bitch, it will make me tear up. You know what I'm saying? 
so add, add the little sentimental touches, you know what I'm saying? Like, get her a Polaroid camera so y'all can take pictures or something. You know, like, we love that stuff. Okay, y'all, I'm going in with, like, I don't even know if I... I don't even want to touch the black. I'm so nervous. I'm going to see what it looks like with just the purple. And I'm going to try to keep this closest to, like, my lid and not much so in my crease area. Oh, I like this. Yeah, I like this. I like this. I like this a lot. You know, like, we love to know that you guys put thoughts into your gift. If she has a favorite perfume, get her that. Favorite little food and snacks. You know, you can always make her, like, a little goodie bag. Oh, that would be so cute. Bitch, this look is coming out fire, okay? Didn't I just say I was going to stop cursing? <sighs> Y'all got to help me out, okay? And my girlies, you know what I'm saying? Get... Get whoever you with, just pay attention to your partner, you know what I'm saying? Get them things that you know they're gonna mess with heavy. And then like, the little extra cute Valentine decoration stuff, that could just be added onto it. Whatever, girl, what do men like? I don't know, I'm a great gift giver though, if I know the person, so. I'm over here acting like I'm a relationship coach. Let me stop then. Okay, then I'm gonna go back with the clean brush and just blend everything out uh, i also want to do know that i am literally falling after someone's look okay i'm sorry and i should have said that way sooner um i'm gonna put her tiktok in the description she's bomb.com i saw this a really long time ago and i was like let me screenshot because i'm doing that look for a valentine's day period i'm not sure if her look was for valentine's day but i just know it was beautiful and i was like girl i'm i'm taking that like you gonna have to not loan it to me baby i'm gonna have to copy you okay because and i'm gonna give all credit because it, it's hella cute like this is so cute and i also wanted to like test myself and see if i could do it because like i said i haven't done i make it for so long so anyways before i open this let me show y'all this is the NYX Vivid Brights in Vivid Fire. Hopefully it don't come out red. I mean, if it do, that's cool. But I want it to be pink. You know what I'm saying? I'm more of a pink girl than a red girl. So, they had a different pink. But it was like a candy yum yum popping bubblegum pink. This is red. <laughs> and um, I didn't want that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, girl. It's, it's red. It's red, but that's okay. All I'm doing is one line. I'm gonna try my best to do a heart and then I'm going to connect the wing. I am gonna put on some music and focus for this part because I really don't want to mess up.
guys so i added a little white because my red it dries very much so dark so knowing that these liners dry darker i probably should have got the candy yum yum color but anyways i still think that this is a fire ass eye okay you probably can't see that it's a heart it's okay me and you know what it's supposed to be and that's all that matters okay so now we are about to go into face okay baby okay I'm definitely going to start with some Fenty, um, Fenty primer. I think I will be using Fenty foundation as well. Because I think my Fenty foundation is my winter color. So, yeah. Oh, and you guys, I have a lot of edges going on today. I think I cut my, my baby hairs a little too long. And then by the time it was done, I noticed, I was like, yeah, I'm not fixing that. We just gonna have to go with the flow. So it's gonna be really hard to get makeup around here, but we shall work it out. We, we shall work it out. I'm trying. Okay, so anyways, I'm gonna go in with Fenty Beauty in the color 35. Um, and I'm gonna go in with this brush, y'all. I really highly recommend this brush. It's not a foundation brush, but that's what I use it as. This is the... This is the e.l.f. powder blurring brush, and I love it for foundation specifically. Um, so I'm going to start with two pumps because Fenty is very much so full coverage in my opinion. You don't really need that much, you know what I'm saying? And yay, my skin is doing pretty darn good right now. For the most part, like I don't have any texture how I normally would. And I definitely start putting so much uh, foundation under my eyes because now I like to go in with two different concealers. And it's like, you don't need foundation, concealer, and concealer, girl. That's doing too much. So now that we got a good little base going, I'm going to go back into that concealer that y'all showed me use earlier in Toffee. And I'm going to put this everywhere that I need to, like, conceal. <laughs> I'm going to be careful though because I don't want to get too close to my my line make my line work, you know? So I'm going to go too close over there. Something like that. Like so like that. I love saying that. Oh, my concealer line down my nose is a little too thick. Okay. But anyways, I'm going to let this dry just a little bit so it can get tacky. So we can have better coverage. And I'm going to go wet my beauty blender. I'll be right back. You guys, uh, can we talk about how hungry I am right now? Like, today I only ate once. Please don't be like me. Do not do as I do, honey. Do as I say. Eat three. Eat three to five times a day if we being honest, okay? But y'all, I am starving. Like, I ate once today. And that's not enough, okay? But I've also been really busy. Uh, like I said, today was a very long day for me. A lot was going on, more than what needed to happen. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all, I didn't forget to eat, and I really am trying to get this video out the way because tomorrow is probably gonna be a long day as well. So I'm like, I have to film. I knew I was hungry before I started this, but I was like, girl, the video gotta get done. So y'all better like this video because I'm gonna hit stop for y'all, okay? So basically, um, I also knew that like. I didn't want to cook today because I'm supposed to be cooking tomorrow a lot so I can film a bulk meal prep for you guys. I don't know if it's considered bulking. I don't know. We're going to find out though. But I was like, dang, I know I'm not going to want to cook back to back. Um, and I'm also like trying to save the food I got from the grocery store so I can like open everything fresh and brand new for the video and stuff. And it's like, girl. Now you over here starving because you forgot to eat something. So, yeah, I'm just blending this out. This sponge, let's talk about it. Bomb. Amazing. You know what I'm saying? Also, I really do love this concealer. Um, I got this. This is from e.l.f. E.l.f., girl. E.l.f. E.l.f. is doing a daggone thing, okay? I don't know what these other makeup brands are doing, but e.l.f. is doing a daggone thing, okay? Like, do y'all see this brush right here that I'm about to use for contour? Amaze balls, okay? For this part, we're gonna have to clip the hair back because I do not have time to get all this makeup on my hair. 
So I'm using the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in the color Rich Cocoa. If my voice is starting to go in and out, it's because I've been doing a lot of singing today. <laughs> um, so if you hear it going in and out, girl, just disregard. And I, what brush is this? This is the e.l.f. Airbrush Blender. I love it. I would use this for make. I mean, for foundation as well. I would try it out. I would try it out because it's just overall really good brush. Like it makes blending out anything so much easier. Like, do you see that? I pressed it like three to five times, and it's just blending. Oh, I love it. See, I'm just blending this out. The key is to put a little bit of this product at a time, and then just really try to keep it in the same area, but like slightly moving your brush forward and back if you if you know what i mean you know always bring your contour up a little bit put it up there in that cheek like really on your cheek it's gonna look so good when you put on blush oh i'm gonna go crazy with the blush too because it's valentine's day it's like now nah, okay so now i'm gonna go in with warm honey i don't know what's wrong with me today i'm i'm kind of lit I don't know why, girl. And I'm just gonna focus this on like the inner corner right here. <gasps> girl, did you see my little, uh, my little pink girl trying to come down? Girl, you get your ass back up there. Girl, what are you doing? You're trying to show out and show off. Like, oh, it's not, it's, don't do me. Don't do me. Okay, so like I just brung up this filter, you guys. Hold on, let me show y'all. Let me show y'all what I'm working with. I just wore up this filter. It looks so good. The red is popping. Obviously, like, it's discoloration. Like, my lips look super duper pink with this filter. But it's, the look is giving. It, mmm. Looking at it up close, it's kind of giving uh, candy cane. But y'all, y'all can tell me it's not cute. Like, you can't tell me that I did that. Like, I like it. I like it. I like it. I wish it was pink. I should have went with the cotton candy one. But this is cute. The Valentine's Day filter kind of really shows you what it looks like in real life. Cute. You want a million dollars, period. The I'm on a million dollars because I want it. I need it right here. Er, I'm going to stop saying that every video. Because I know it's going to get some of y'all mad. But anyways, right now I'm spraying my... Beauty Blender. Girl, I'm bugging. With some LA Girl Setting Spray. This is really good for like in between your makeup. It's called Fix and Set. So I feel like it helps. You know, they, they, they ain't call it that for no reason, baby. But I'm keeping this really close to like the inner corner of my eye. I'm not really bringing it out all like that. So now I'm just going to go back over it with nothing on the brush. But just make sure that everything is blended out. This works really, really good for me. If y'all try this, let me know how you like it. I promise you, you won't fuck with it. So now that that's done, we definitely have to set the face. Just so all our work don't go to waste. So I'm going to, I'm going to be mixing today because I kind of want everything to look bright and snatched. So I'm going to mix Airspun with the Cover FX. This is in Medium and this is in um, Honey Beige. I did this the other day just to see what it looked like and girl came out fire, okay? Because the Cover FX... It smooths out my skin way better than the air spun, but I kind of want the air spun for a, a highlighting effect. So I'm kind of getting the, the best of both worlds, and I'm be taking whatever end of the brush and like mix it up, like stir it up and shimmy shimmy cocoa puffs. You gonna get a color that look like this? I don't know if you can see. And I do it, I put it in there, and then I always tap it off, and I go crazy. Okay, you guys, I'm so sorry if the angle just changed. I had to get some footage off my camera because my storage was trying to fill up on a girl. Don't nobody got time for that. So I went ahead and put powder on everywhere that, excuse me, that I conceal. And now I'm going to set my e.l.f. concealer with the Black Radiance True Complexion Palette. There go my voice, y'all. Going in and out. Serve. Serve. And I also know that y'all probably noticed that I didn't um, contour my forehead. Yeah, girl. I don't be, I don't be too pressed when it comes to 
contour with the the um liquid because it's difficult to get around all this hair. Um, it doesn't look good, especially when you have like residue of um itch control and stuff. It gets it gets attached to that and it's it's just oh it's messy. I don't like it. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with the LA Girl setting spray. And I'm gonna go in with the butt on my sponge. And I'm just gonna blend everything in. Oh my mantle, it made my um it made my eyeshadow wet. <laughs> I think I sprayed too much around my eyes. Definitely was about to forget. I like to go in with this Morphe brush. And I only use the sculpt color. And uh, I noticed that when you pinch the brush like this and go down the side of your nose, you get a really snatched the nose contour. And I also like to take the powder and bring it down the side of my nose. Get around the tip. Say that. <laughs> Somebody got it. I got it too. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I am about to add some mascara. This is the Maybelline The Falsies Lash Lift. I'm going to coat my top first and then I'm going to put some falsies on and then I'm going to coat my bottom. I can't do it all at one time. I don't know. It just doesn't work that way for me. Whenever I do line work, eyeliner, I like to put on small lashes. These are the littlest lashes ever. Oh my god, I'm knocking everything over. What is wrong with me? These are so small. But I like to wear falsies like this because they're going to add to the shape of my eye. But they aren't going to cover everything I just did. And it's crazy how I could put lashes on one eye with my hand. The other one, I cannot do it. And this is my dominant hand. So I'm so confusion. <laughs> and I know y'all know this, but definitely always press your lashes together. It makes them look so much natural. So much more natural. Oh my God, this is like good, okay? Um, I'm gonna add a little bit of mascara just to give them some zoom zoom. I don't know what the freak I be saying when I say that. Zoom zoom. Like I'm not driving the car. I'm in my mom's car. Zoom zoom. That's what that reminds me of. And I'm also gonna go lighten on my bottom lashes and girl we almost done okay. Okay, you guys, so I'm not going to spray my face right now and do my highlight. I'm going to actually do that at the end because I have sprayed my face so many times after putting on mascara and it's not a good look, okay? It will literally ruin all the work you just did. So I'm going to go with my lip and I'm going in with NYX Espresso to outline. This is my new lip combo, y'all. I've been doing it so much lately. It's so pretty. So now that I got that and I like blended it out with my lips, I'm going to go in with NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in Sandstorm. This is light, but it got it kind of got like a pinkish brownish undertone and I'm going to put that all over my lip. Dang, my lips look crusty. No type of moisturization, Jesus. Outline it again, and then I'm gonna go in with Warm Honey, my concealer, with another brush. And I'm gonna put that in the center of my lips, okay? The thing is though, you gotta blend like crazy. And keep it in the center. It's Valentine's Day, honey. My cupid's bow gotta be sharp. <laughs> I'm trying. And now I'm gonna top it with some lip gloss. Okay, usually I use NK Clear Lip Gel, but today I am using this Mango Butter 
lip gloss from Broadway. Let's see how it works. I want to see what it smells like. I hope it smells like mango. If it doesn't, it's freaking false advertisement, okay? It smells just like mango. <laughs> it smells so good. Ooh. Oh, that's so pretty. That's so pretty. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is spray my face with... Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. This is what's gonna lock everything in, you know, while you have your festivities of the night. Yeah, lock this in. But before it fully dries, I'm gonna take the, <gasps> I didn't do blush, y'all. Stop playing with me. Y'all was, was gonna let me not do blush. Y'all was not gonna let me do blush on Valentine's Day. Uh, anyways, I'm used to e.l.f. What is this? It's like oops. I don't know what I don't know what this is called, so I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'm gonna take this base blue brush and go crazy. Now I'll take my e.l.f. flawless concealer brush, but I like to use this as a highlight. I don't like to use it as a highlight. I tried it as a highlight, and until I get a new brush, we're gonna continue to use it. Um, and I'm taking Wet n Wild Mega Glow in Precious Petals and just going to lightly add a little bit of highlight. I don't even go crazy with highlight no more, like at all. I just like knowing that I have some on in case I take pictures and I want like a cute look on, but that's all I want. That's it for the makeup, y'all. Let me take my hair down. I want it like vroom, vroom, vroom curls. So that's what... That's what these supposed to give, y'all. But, okay, let me scoot all the way back so you can get the whole tea. You know what I'm saying? So, anyways, that wraps up this video, you guys. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope it wasn't too talkative. And I hope you didn't get tired of my crazy self. But this is what the makeup looks like. This was my grown and sexy Valentine's Day look. I hope you enjoy. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Like I said earlier, comment down below what videos y'all want me to do next so I can come crazy in March. Because, like, my February calendar is booked up. So, yeah. <laughs> I hope y'all enjoyed. Please be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, mamas. And happy Valentine's Day. Hold it, got the dumpy, yeah, boy. Know what I mean, bitch? On it, on it, on it, on it.